Line it out like this. Um, the hex is right here. And I, so I've got I've got two artillery shifts. This is gonna be so ugly. Um, okay, we're in the woods. Yep. Um, so let's get the let's get the combat chart. Okay, so it's right here. Uh, okay, so first things first. We're in woods, so we're gonna we're gonna use use a couple of these markers. So we're on we're on line two. Yep. So first we, we come up with an odds. <laughs> first we come up with an odds ratio. Um, okay, so you're, you're 12, uh, 16, and the these guys are halved, yeah. so they become, so he's a half, yeah. he's a four, four yeah. so four and a half, so 21, um, I am, so I'm a seven, rounded down is three and a half, round up to four, so I'm seven, 21, seven? Yeah. Okay, three so we start three to one on line two. <laughs> Okay. Um, now we're gonna go. We're gonna get into column shifts. Um, okay. Okay. So let's let's get our. Um, so it's this unit here. Let's get our yeah. Let's get our combat chart. Like Panzer's reconnaissance battalion. Yeah. We're driving around with those shitty little puma, pumas and pumas, cat and crabs. Where's the light like SDK? I said two, three, fours. That kind of shit. <laughs> Looking at. Uh, <laughs> I, I kind of have these memorized, but I want to. I want to go through them. Uh, oh, attack hex is is right here. Yeah. Okay. So um, this one here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we look at column shifts. So um, attacker is in PA mode. Yeah. So you get you get one shift to the right. So everybody with the share over Um. Each AS marker, so I've got I've got two ASs, so that's two ACs more. Here. Five, one, six, one, and you did not. Did you have an AS on that stack? You did no, not. No, it's prepared right? for it fatigue. One. Yeah, yeah it's the other one that has yeah. an AS one. Okay, so we're we're up to six to one. Um, no IP, um, no entrenchments, um, no adjacent hexes. Um, I'm not defending in an, in an in a vantage point. Um, no engineers. Nothing. 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 Okay. So now. Um, I have got, is this, that's the, the ninth Panzer? Yes, it division. is. Yeah. So I've got, um, I've got, uh, the, my seventh army leader Brandenburg is stacked with the ninth Panzer HQ, which gives me up to two column shifts. So I'm going to take those two column shifts back to the left to be a four to one. Yeah. Um, and multi-formation, no, no overstacked hexes. So we end on uh, I mean, no column K. No benefit no of no 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 Rose because he's over there, yeah. So we're four to one. Yep. Now we get into DRMs. So we choose, you know, who's who's your lead unit? Um, you, you so these take are the, the efficiency, yeah. So those are the two fatigue. Yeah, and so you don't want to use the fatigue unit, so but that one, I guess, probably, right? yeah. So that guy, so you've got profi uh, an attack proficiency of eight, right? Okay. Yeah. I've got, my lead unit is going to have to be the, the recce. Um, they're a, a proficiency of eight as well, so that's a wash. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> regimental integrity. Um, so, yeah, it's these guys. Oh yeah, no worries. Yeah. So, um, so typically you would get a ribs bonus because these are both members of the same combat command and, and battalion size. Yeah. But fatigued units do not give do not okay. grant ribs. I could get ribs. Um, if I if I had two steps, but I'm down to my last step, and so yeah. you have to have at least two steps to get ribs. Okay. Um, Germans have a special rule that combat engineers can act as a, a granting a ribs bonus, um, but I don't I don't get that. So no ribs. Um, armor versus anti tank. Okay. So you've armor. got yeah you've got an armor value of four. Yep. I've got an armor value of two. Okay. So so four to two. So right now we're at, we're at twenty. So four minus two, and then we modify by terrain. We're in the woods, so that's modified uh, minus two. So, um, so you benefit from that fringe there. I, it's actually the the hex is. Um, 
where I think the oh no, the hex is here. So you you were attacking here. Yeah. The hex is there, and see, there's that. I mean, it's just a little bit of green. Yeah. Okay. That woods there. Yeah, it is. That's correct. Yeah. So, but which unit is it? Is this one? Yeah, it's those. It's that and the engineer. Fine. Okay. So you got those two units. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. So no, that's, that's fine. That one, yeah. That's fine. Cool. Okay. So um, armor and anti. -tank. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's it's two, but then minus two for the woods. Yeah. So it's a wash. So we are just looking at four to one. Four to one. Straight roll. Oh, two. Okay, so we, we do. Yeah, so, sorry, we do we do two d two d ten. Right. And we got to choose a, a tens value and a and a ones value. So which which die do you want to be? Do you want? Okay, green is the tens. Green is the tens. And black is the ones. Black is the ones. And let's do because the way the way these work. Let's let's do, let's do the rolls over here. This, this is gonna hurt. Okay. 80, 80, so 85, right? 85. 85 right here is going to be, so it's that, that result, 2, 1. That's one mandatory, so I must take that as a step loss. Yeah. And then two discretionary, yeah. I can choose to take as retreat, step loss, or fatigue hits. Okay. And you can imagine I'm not going to take them as, as retreats, or as, as step losses. So that leaves uh, retreat or, or fatigue. Now, the cool thing about Goss, I get to roll as well, and I have a I so I will produce a separate combat result on the attacker. So I roll low enough, this could still be painful for you. So let's see. And 69, that's gonna be that's gonna be nothing. I needed a 50 or less to do to do anything. So okay. the defender chart, it you know you 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 want to roll low. Yeah. Attacker, you want to roll high. Okay. And you use the same DRM. So right. if the attacker has a positive DRM, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna hurt my role as the defender and vice okay. versa. Okay. So. Okay. Let okay. Me, uh... The rule is my my first step loss has to come from my lead unit. Right. So that was these guys. So they're dead. Yeah. Um, and now I am going to have to retreat two, um, which I will do. Um, and I have to go towards supply, and that's that way. So I'll go one, two, um, to satisfy that. And then you may advance into the house. And that, my friends, is how you do combat in Goss in seven and a half minutes. <laughs>